Tools and ones, where you were, where you were, where you were, where you were. Tools and ones, back with another powerful and productive video. This person is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yes, let's talk about that. This person is in your life, in your social cycle. It could be your family, your friend, your co-worker, so close to you. This person at kindness, but behind the kindness are secret evil intentions towards you. This person acts as if he or she cares about you, but this person wish you luck. Yes, this person behind your back always talk about you, that you don't deserve what you have. This person is always trying to downplay you in your absence, but in your presence, they act as if they love you. They act as if they are friends. They act as if they are family when they are with you. But I tell you, when you ain't there, what they say about you is nothing to write home about. Secretly, they praying that you should lack and even turn to a beggar be desperate, be miserable. This person never wish you well at all. They keep on trying their best to downplay your success. Yes, that is the agenda of this person. This person doesn't even want to make the attempt to know you more. But this person try to judge you by what we say they try to judge you by like a book by its cover yes you see people sometimes judge a book by its cover without reading the book to know the content to know the introduction you know the content the chapter one chapter two what the book comprises of they know nothing about you but they try to judge you by your look by your appearance and that is why they always miss it yes because you as a chosen one they can never understand you because of who you are you are not meant to be understood by people there is a whole lot of mystery surrounding you and that is why this person in your cycle is saying all sort of things about you they are full of negativity they are full of negative energies towards you they have devilish intentions against your life in fact the day you will fall it's really going to make them happy because that is their wish for you. Yes, chosen ones. But I'm here to tell you that no matter the wish of people towards you, continue to have a pure heart and be protected. Because you having a pure heart is what will continue protecting you from the hatred of the enemy. Yes. As they keep on acting fake, being counterfeit, not being real with you. Be real with them. Be yourself. Be your true and authentic self. I'm telling you, they will one day, one day, realize who you truly are. But at then, it's going to be too late for them. Yes, let them keep judging you by your outer appearance 
You see, scripture says some things that catches my attention. It says, let them say, let them say it about you, but it shouldn't come to pass in your life. Yes, let them say it about you, but it should never ever come to pass in your life. So chosen one, always stay put. Keep on praying. Keep on drawing more closer to God because you are surrounded by a whole lot of enemies, a whole lot of evil people, a whole lot of negative energies. They don't want the best for you. But one thing is for sure, your blessing does not come from them. And because of that, they cannot stop the blessings of God on your life. Yes, the, your blessings are not from humans. They can't stop it because it is something deep that God has put in you. No matter what they try to do, no matter how they try to hate on you, to downplay your sources, to wish you luck, if you, as a chosen one, you don't give up on yourself, you keep on persisting for, for bearing, you keep on persevering, you keep on being consistent, patient, trying, trusting the process and keep putting God first in whatever you do, I tell you, you will never ever lack. Continue to give, continue to be kind. And I tell you, you see scripture says, givers never lack. Yeah, I read somewhere in Proverbs which says, there are people that gives generously and they have more in abundance. And there are people that sometimes they act very stingy, right? Thinking they are preserving or saving what they have. But no matter how much they try, they don't have enough. Yes. They don't know what is holding you. They don't know how you are being blessed. As a chosen one, as water gets into the coconuts, that remains a mystery to science, to the entire world, to people. So is your success going to remain a mystery to the world, to the people in your family, to your loved ones, to your co-workers, to your friends. I pray for you. May your sources, may your wealth remain a mystery to people. May whatever they say concerning your life, their evil, secret, deceptive, devilish agendas against your life never ever come to pass in your life. Chosen ones, always your prayer should be, God, Help me rejoice when others are doing well. Lord, give me love enough to overlook the mistakes of others. Yes, and I tell you, when you keep meditating on this prayer over and over and over again, you are going to be content with the people that are unhappy with you, that wish you're down for, that wish you're lack. And no matter what they try, they will never ever triumph over you because your love will cover a lot. Your love is the one that will save you. You see, love is the most powerful force in the universe. It is a force that helps us to disarm the hatred of the enemy. Yes. So continue to keep on being a loving person that you are. Continue being pure hearted and continue being protected. No matter what they do, no matter what they try. They cannot triumph over you because 
you are linked up with God. You are in unison with God. You are connected with God. And what God says concerning your life is what matters. Chosen ones, continue to trust in the power and authority and supremacy of God's power. Yes, trust and have confidence in God's power, authority, and supremacy over your life and not people, you know, majority. Yes, continue putting God first. And I tell you, they will never, they will surround you. You see, scripture says, they will surround you. 10,000 will fall on your left, on your right, and, you know, none shall touch you, shall get closer to you. Yes, none will get closer to you because the Lord is your shepherd. The Lord is your protector. The Lord is your shield. The Lord is your everything. And they will never ever triumph over you. Let them continue being fake. Yes, let them, their time will come. I tell you, there is an expiring date for everything. Everything under this sun on this earth has expiring dates. So their time will come. They will be exposed. Yes, they will be exposed in a, a broad day light. And everybody will see them for who they are. So if they are talking about you behind your back, know that that is where they belong. Yeah, people that talk about you at your back belongs to your back. Yeah, that is why they will never ever talk in your presence. Yeah, because you're doing something better than them. That is why they will be talking about you. So allow them. Don't waste your energy to fight such a battle. Leave it for God. Let them keep living that pretentious life and you keep being real. And I tell you, always the Lord will be your anchor. The Lord will hold you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will safeguard you. The Lord will provide for you. I tell you, your God will never shame you. No matter their plots, their conspiracies, no matter what they do, the light of God in your life is what will shine. Yes, the light of God must shine. The light of God must shine, no matter what the devil does, the light of God must shine, no matter what the enemy does, the light of God must shine. So no matter what they do, it is the light of God that will keep on shining. But always remember to remember that the best way to keep defeating them is to be a silent warrior. Be a silent warrior. Be fighting your battle from within. As you know that you are surrounded by enemies, even when you are shaking hands with them, keep praying within you. Even when they are offering you something, keep praying within you. Even when you are hugging them, keep praying within you. Even when you are eating with them, keep praying within you. When you are moving out with them, keep praying within you. And that is how you will keep on triumphant over them, I tell you. You see, scripture says in Luke 10, 19, I have given you power and authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all powers of the enemy. All right. 
these snakes and scorpions are the wolves in sheep clothing that we are surrounded by each and every day in our social cycle, in our family, in our workplaces, in our institutions, at our home, in our neighborhood. Right? But scripture says, we will overcome them. Right? He has given us power to trample over them. Right? To trample over them, over snakes and scorpions. Right? And the sure way to overcome is to remain a silent warrior, a secret warrior. Keep fighting your battles from within. And I tell you, as within, so without. Life is spiritual. So keep on fighting from within and you will keep winning your battle, I tell you. All right, that's it, chosen ones. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.